welcome back to the present class and last class we have seen how the normal diet is modified into a therapeutic diet in terms of its various uh, conditions like the temperature, the consistency and how it is fed to an individual, what is the time interval that has to be taken, what are the nutrition uh, care that has to be taken uh, and so we should now also know what are the principles that are involved in therapeutic nutrition. So, what is a diet? A diet is a sum of food that is consumed by a person or any organism. So, whatever food we consume is the diet. And diet therapy, it is concerned with recovery of illness by giving a good diet. So, the therapeutic nutrition is the uh, clearing of the disease using food and you can also prevent the disease by using good food by giving them nutritionally adequate diet so that they do not go into any deficiency symptom or curing the disease by giving the whatever nutrient is required for the person in extra amounts or reducing the specific nutrients. So, by changing the modification of the diet you can treat a person which is called as diet therapy. Now, therapeutic diet is a planned diet because we know the condition of the patient and we plan the diet and it is nothing but a modification of normal diet. You prepare a normal diet and the same normal diet you change in terms of the consistency, you change in terms of its uh, I mean temperature and uh, other aspects and give to the person it becomes a therapeutic diet. Then used to supplement the medical or surgical treatment. Sometimes medicine itself is not sufficient and the person is kept on giving uh, medicines, he may go into under nutrition. So, in order to supplement the medical uh, treatment and surgical treatment, you always give them a very good diet, so that they recover very fast and get back their normal nutritional status. And this is prescribed by a doctor, based on the condition of the patient, the do doctor prescribes what type of a diet, I mean uh, how much uh, calories, whether the calories have to be increased, whether the protein has to be increased and based on that the diet is planned by a dietitian. Now, you can plan a therapeutic diet only by adding or removing foods. So, whatever is not being tolerated by the individual is removed and whatever is tolerated it is increased, so that the nutrient balance is maintained. Then change of nutrients and calorie content or texture based on the condition of the person. Suppose he is a surgically operated patient, then we give him a liquid diet which consists of nutrients, but at the same time it is not uh, giving a stress to the gastrointestinal system. And suppose he is a obese person, then we give him a low calorie food, but the other nutrients are maintained in the same level. So, the protein and other vitamins and minerals are maintained at the same level, because he should not go into deficiency of the other nutrients. The only nutrient that is reduced is energy and suppose the person is with anemia, you start giving him foods which are rich in iron apart from the normal diet. So, that his iron status in the blood increases and this can be used in supplementation to the iron supplements that are given. So, that there is a fast recovery if there is severe anemia. Similarly, based on the condition we keep on changing the diet. Then increase or decrease in the bulk of the diet. Bulk of the diet is increased or decreased by the fiber content of the diet. Suppose the person has diarrhea, diarrhea means there is a frequent passage of loose stools. So, the stool has to become hard, therefore you give him a soluble fiber which will form a gel and water uptake is there there is soft stools and uh, when there is constipation, it means the water content of the stools is very less, the stools have become very hard. Under such condition, you give them a high fiber diet, so that the stools become softer and then they become very loose and easy to pass. Then principles to be followed in a therapeutic diet are, you have to follow a good nutritional status whether the person is sick or you know, he is ill, suppose the person is uh, become sick for 10 days, after 10 days you should not see a person who is becomes very weak. So, 
if you give him proper nutrition at the end of the disease condition also the patient will come back as a normal individual. So, you have to maintain the nutritional status of an individual and therapeutic diet is only to correct the deficiency, it is not a medicine. So, as I said it is only a modification of normal diet. So, it has to correct the nutrient deficiencies. Then at the same time you cannot give heavy food with high fat and high spicy food so that it irritates the gastrointestinal system. It should give rest to the body. So, food should be planned such a way that it affords rest to the body. Then it also helps in the metabolism of nutrients. Otherwise, there the metabolism is affected and again the nutrients are not absorbed in a proper manner. So, it should help in the metabolism of nutrients. Then to make the necessary changes in body weight when necessary, either to decrease the weight or increase the weight accordingly you change the nutrient content and give the individual. And purpose of therapeutic diets, one is to regulate the amount of food, we cannot drastically decrease the amount of food for an individual. So, in order to regulate the amount of food, you change the pattern of food and you also give more number of times, so that the amount of food does not decrease when the person is sick. Then it should assist the body organs to maintain the normal function. So, there should not be any weakness and it should not affect any organ, so that the normal function is uh, detained or uh, decreased. Then it should aid in digestion, that means it should be a very soft and very mild in condition, so that it aids in easy digestion. Because when the person is sick, the secretion of the juices also becomes sluggish. Then it should improve the specific health condition. Suppose he is uh, having the iodine deficiency, you give him foods rich in iodine along with the medicine. Then anemia, you give whatever is required. Suppose there is B complex deficiency, you supplement with B complex uh, food, rich foods, so that he can come over from the deficiency stage. Then increase or decrease in body weight and modify the intervals of feeding based on the condition, whether if the person is not able to eat food, give more number of times. You can give 1 hourly to slowly it can be decreased to 4 hours to 5 hours interval of feeding. Now, the significance of the therapeutic diet is, it can be, it is a very useful tool for managing disease. Because if you do not give proper diet, the sickness is uh, prolonged to a uh, more uh, longer period, so that to for the person to come back to his normal nutritional status. Then promote greater resistance and uh, to the specific condition. If you give him a good food rich in protein and vitamins and minerals, the, uh, the state of infection and the resistance to the infection increases. So, he can recover very fast. Then prevention or supplemental treatment. So, diet can be used either to prevent the disorders like we talk about uh, the bad habits of food. You eat a proper balanced diet with energy balance, you can prevent obesity. But, but if you start eating whatever is available, it is inevitable that obesity will occur. And similarly, cancer, if the lifestyle changes can be changed a little, the dietary pattern can be changed a little, maybe you can prevent the cancer occurrence also. So, heart uh, disorders can be prevented. So, so many disorders can be prevented by giving a good therapeutic diet. So, to conclude we can say you should reduce the intake of spices, then uh, reduce the I mean the um, supplements which are not recommended by a physician. Instead you take food as a supplement and then uh, reduce the amount of fat that is uh, taken in and you can also give the change in the consistency of the uh, foods and improve the therapeutic diet. So, if you follow the good principles of therapeutic diet, even if a person is sick for a longer time, the moment the he recovers from the sickness, he can come back to his normal nutritional status within a very few days and resume his normal duties. Thank you.